Millie from South Central Houston has a question about cupping floors. Yeah, these red oak cherry uh, floors are upstairs in a three-story townhome, Tom. And uh, yes. Millie writes, we don't run the AC under 80. Apparently, her husband doesn't like to get it too cool in the house. So it runs a little on the warm side. He says, and they plan on moving to a more temperate climate. But before listing our house, she says, I'd like to fix the floors. I'm pretty sure that they were given a polyurethane finish when they were put in. And if I have them refinished, should I have the refinisher use a wax finish, as I've seen you say before? And will that do the job in making them uh, back where they were originally? You know, when you deal with real hardwood floors, they have to be acclimated. In fact, when you get the wood before it goes down, you bring it into the house, you set it there for about a week in air-conditioned uh, comfort, and you let it acclimate. Because of the fact you're running 80 degrees or, or higher in the house, it's not dehumidifying, it's going to cup. So it's not really the floor's fault, especially on a third story. Now, down on the concrete, it would be a little different if it was a first floor. But this is totally different. And it's not running the air conditioner. You're kind of your own worst enemy in this one. Mm. So this is what I would do. I would get a couple of dehumidifiers. You can actually rent them. I would put them up there, and I would acclimate that third floor with at least dehumidifiers and see if they'll dry out and they'll settle. If they'll dry out and settle, you don't have to do anything. If you refinish it, refinish it, but use the dehumidifiers, run the air conditioning system at 76, 78 degrees at least, and keep the floors acclimated until you sell the house. And then go ahead and sell the house, and the new people will come in and put it down to 68 like I do at night before I go to bed. <laughs> and so it'll be fantastic. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I, I like it cold. I'm with you. So, all right. I keep so, my house here in Brownsville at 72. And in my house in Houston, I keep it at 72. Yeah. <laughs> really and when, let me guess, in the car, you keep it at 72. 60. <laughs> no, yeah, that's oh. it. <laughs> all right. I, I think it's, it's interesting. When I was reading that question before I sent it to you, Tom, I had a hunch that it was a humidity issue with him running the temperature that high. Well, and just to explain... The top has got a urethane. It cannot expand and contract. Right. The bottom is sucking in all the water because it's only finished on one side. If it was an engineered floor, it was finished on all sides, you probably wouldn't have the problem. But the bottom of the floor wants to curl up because it's expanding, but the top won't let it go evenly. So it, what it's doing is the edges are rising up on it. Very common. Mm. All right. You got a question, whether it's common or uncommon, Tom will help you out the same way. Just go visit homeshowradio.com, fill out the Ask Tom form, send it in. You can send pictures just like Millie did, and we'll be happy to take a look at those as well and help answer your question. And we post them on our, our, our website, homeshowradio.com, our, our YouTube channel, and Facebook. 